Hi and welcome here on Pierrosini.com, the wine show. And well, this is part two of the interview, the interview with Axel Heinz, the, the winemaker of La Tenuta de Non del Naya. Um, of course, we're still here in, um, in Bulgari, but we, are now, we have changed the, the wine cellar because uh, we, we, we've just mentioned in, in the first interview that uh, the story or the thing, Maceto, the, 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 the glorious, gorgeous wine Maceto. And uh, Alex, maybe some words about Maceto. Well, it's Merlot, right? Maceto is Merlot, more. but more than being Merlot, Maceto is a, a vineyard, a vineyard which is actually the source of this particular wine called Maceto itself. Okay. Um, it was a place planted with Merlot. Um, in the first place, in order, just because we wanted to develop the grape variety, maybe blending it together uh, with other wines, with Ornelaya, not necessary to make it a single vineyard wine. But it turned out to be immediately that spectacular because the first plantings were done in 1984 and a first experimental bottling was done in 1986, just a couple of bottles of that Merlot um, in order to see how it was performing because nobody had really tried out a lot of Merlot before in Bulgari. And the results turned out to be that spectacular. Just, just the year after, in 1987, the wine Maceta was born. Okay. Uh, the vineyard was then extended. It's now seven hectares on a hill with particularly clayish soils. And we all know, of course, from Bordeaux and from Pomor that yeah. Merlot likes clay. clay and, 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 and it does so in Bulgaria as well. So it's a very particular vineyard because it's this the, clay yeah. just occurs in this uh, particular vineyard and you don't find it anywhere else in Bulgaria, just on these seven hectares. I think the, the clay is, uh, for my opinion, the clay is important for to, to, to keep the, the water in the in the earth, right? No? Yeah, it's that, but, but this it's is a so very important. compact, very, very heavy clay. So at the same time, it keeps water, but then it really stresses the vines. It, 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 it keeps vigor low because the wine has really to struggle to develop its roots uh, and, and, and therefore it gives also very dense, very thick skins, very concentrated fruit that gives this wine Maceto, which is a very particular and specific uh, expression of Merlot in uh, a Mediterranean area, which most people consider is a little bit impossible because Merlot doesn't like too much heat, doesn't like too much sun. But here in Bulgari, here on the Maceto Hill, it's possible to make a very particular and specific expression of Merlot, which we can taste now from the barrel. We're here in the barrel cell of Maceto. Yeah. It's a wine that spends a little bit longer in, um, in, in barrel than uh, all the other wines we produce. It goes through 24 months of aging. Um, here again, it's in the first year of aging divided into different lots because not every place in Maceto is picked at the same moment. Often there is um, up to three weeks between the first picking and the last picking of okay. the different places in Maceto because it's a hill so you have a lower part, you have the central part which is the most interesting and the higher part which is on slightly rockier soils and they uh, give birth to, depends a little bit on the vintage obviously, but between three and six different single wines okay. that we then blend together to make the finished wine Maceto and the second year the finished blend is aging the way we see it here and it will be bottled towards the end of this year in late November when harvest is finished. So the 2009 vintage, not yet in bottles, so really yeah. uh, something we very rarely do, but since you're here we thought it would be nice to taste something really, really that is not it. so frequent to taste. People say often it's like the, the Italian Petrus. Well, you know... You uh, like the comparison? It's for you it's a, like a um, compliment or you say no? Masetto we take it obviously as a compliment because there's no doubt that, that, that Petrus um, wow. is a reference point for great wines in the world, not only for Merlot, but, yeah, yeah. but it's one of the great wines in the world and being compared to one of the great wines in the world is something we like. But uh, Maceto is Maceto. Apart from the fact that it's mellow and that it's on clay, there are very little similarities between the yeah, two okay. wines. So, no, it's not, Maceto is not made in order to make a copy of Chateau Petrus. Maceto is yeah. every I think it's regarding more the, con the, qu the, 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 the quantity of the, the wines, right? Well, it's quite Maybe. similar, yes. Well, we're producing, I think, both. I don't know the exact figures, but of, of Petrus, we're producing around 30,000 bottles every year. It depends, obviously, on the quality of the vintage. Okay. So it's quite similar. But uh, we stop now to talk about Petrus. We talk about yeah. Maceto. It's a nice color and says it's like a perfume. Good. 
beautiful. It's 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 seductive. Ooh. It's particularly seductive in 2009 because yeah. it's a very forward, very, very opulent, very ripe vintage, but without too much ripeness. So you have this sensation of very ripe uh, cherries, plums, uh, yeah, plums, some spiciness, yeah. almost exotic spices. So it's really, yes, it's very forward. Um, in some vintages, Maceto can be a little bit tighter, but in 2009, it's a really Mediterranean plump, um, opulent expression of mellow. Beautiful. It's quite complex. It's really it's a um, where well, it's absolutely fruits and up front. But um, I think well, it's what you said is the wine will stay until November, or December in the yeah. barrels. So it's still some time for aging, and then of course later in the bottling, it's more important. It's also well, it's, important. I think it's a good moment to taste the wines because often when you taste them right after bottling, they need to recover from bottle shock, and it's not a good. And now they're almost through their aging regime. So they've, they've really gone through all the phases we want to have them. So they start to be very expressive and it's often a very good moment. So a couple of months before you decide to bottle is often a very good moment to taste the wines. Mm. Wow, oh, that's an explosion, really, of, of fruit, of minerality, spiciness. Is when you swallow it down, it, it, it stays, it, yeah, stays in the mouth, the aromas, the, the complexity. It's, it's in, in, yeah, it's a great potential and a great experience for me to taste this wine now. Um, it's, it's so young. I think it will be, uh, this wine will have a really long life, in my opinion. Definitely, Maceto is a wine that to is made age, for yeah. aging. And it's, it's, not, it's not reflecting what people usually think about Mellow. They think about Mellow as the easygoing, soft, round, very no. forward grape variety. Maceto is not quite corresponding to that image. Because it's racy, it's, the wine it's of spicy. It's a lot of raciness, a lot of richness also. There's yeah. no doubt that it's a Mediterranean wine. There is a lot of ripeness, a lot of opulence. But again, what is really wonderful is that there is also a lot of uh, focus, yeah. vibrant acidity, clearly cut tannins. So yeah. it's definitely a wine that has uh, a long way to go. And, and yes, we recommend to drink the wines after 10, 15 years of aging. Now you start to be um, enjoying uh, or start to be enjoyable the 95, 97 and everything that's older, but still a wine like 98 or 99 yeah. of wines that are quite dense and still obviously they're nice to drink, but, but you can still sense that they need a couple of years to come around. And 2009 obviously is not even in the bottle, so that's definitely going to be a wine that will need several years before it's, it's, uh, it's fully ready. I just have to retaste it once again because <laughs> well this is really amazing. It's totally dense to the core. You have it's so full of many aromas, extract and um, well you confirm today that uh, Maceto is really a um, yeah, mystical thing. It's, for me, it's um, really somewhere above. It's, it's good. And um, yeah, we will see in some years how this wine will develop. I will come back. Okay. Okay. Good. We'll, we'll, we'll taste it yeah. after, after bottling. Yes, it okay. will pleasure. So uh, I hope uh, that you maybe today learned a little bit about Maceto, uh, just have an impression of the winemaker, Axel Heinz, and uh, well, I hope you enjoyed the show, and well, I hope I see you in the next clip. Cheers.